What's up, everybody? Rob here, back with another episode of Wasting Wildcards here on Multi5. And this week, I've got some pretty fun best of one historic action. Um, so the world has changed a lot since I've last recorded a video. Stuff has been banned like crazy. Every format seems fresh and new. So I figured, you know what? Let's just play some stuff and see what's good. Um, in best of one, I always like playing these very kind of glass cannony, very fast, very aggressive decks. It's a great way to go up the ladder. Um, and I think Gruel Dinosaurs may just be that deck. Um, so the highest I ever made it in Mythic, I made it to like the top two, three hundred at one point, and that was playing Jund Dinosaurs. And this is a very simple, like this deck could have existed in that standard. But I think Ram Through is the only new card. Um, but it's still so good. It's so good. Actually, we got Embercleave. Embercleave's real good. Yeah. Uh, so we dropped the Jund aspect of Jund Dinos and basically just went full gruel for full consistency. We get to play Embercleave. We get to play double red and double green spells. And it just, when it works, oh, it feels so good good we've got the commune of the dinosaurs or lane or elves which are both amazing turn one plays um this deck actually really wants to go from two mana to four mana more than it wants to go to one to three so that's why we're not playing a full play set of lane or elves we really want to get a marauding raptor or an otopic hunt master out for that ramp more so than anything else and then we've just got all the key dinosaur pieces we've got the four of rampaging frostodon which in historic is very good against the life gain deck it's very good against any token deck it's really good against goblins because the other team just takes other team when we play in sports here uh the other player just takes a ton of damage playing out all those goblins and it feels so good uh we've got a couple collision colossus just you know this teamed up with tramplers you just do a ton of damage or if it teams up with Embercleave, you're doing too much damage. It's just silly. Ripjaw Raptor and Marauding Raptor is the main combo this deck wants. It's not really a combo. It's just like a value engine. But it's real good. I mean, Ripjaw Raptor and Savage Stomp, also very good. A fight spell that draws you cards is quite good. Um, we've got two Ceratopses. It's just kind of a roll filler. There's still a lot of blue stuff going on. And it's pretty good on curve and value. It's, it's, it's kind of underwhelming, especially with Teferi kind of suspended i guess i think he might well i think he'll probably stay suspended and then come off he wasn't that crazy in this but you know it feels good not having to worry about the fairy then we've got redosaur alpha give your guys haste make a token and then we've got the big daddy galta on the top end you know we're not playing dinosaurs if we're not playing galta so let's play some games i kind of want to hit a galta with an embercleave tonight i don't know if that's going to happen but that's kind of where i want to be and if that's where i'm going to be we're going to be G good let's play some games what's up everybody here we are with game one with our gruel dino deck um we're on the draw which i don't love but in this situation it actually might work out in our favor we have two otopic hunt masters which is kind of the the ramp hasty awesome start we want but we don't really have any other dinosaurs to go into so having that extra two draw steps or three in the case if we want to play something on turn three uh will probably be helpful since we're on the draw so i'm going to actually keep this and just kind of pray we draw into some better better stuff all right game one up against goblins very fitting uh so we definitely want to get our rampaging ferocidon out um it's three damage right there we missed so let's go Okay, well, we got an Embercleave. It's going to be a while before we cast that, um, but let's play our Huntmaster. Next turn, I could actually play a second Huntmaster and then play Ferocidon for one red mana. Kind of utilize our mana the most efficient way. God damn. Turn three, Muxus. So silly. Come on, whiff. Whiff. That is so far from a whiff. So far. Well, you see... If I got to play Rampaging Frost on when I wanted to, uh, we could have made them take a lot of damage. And I don't think we're going to be able to win uh, after that draw from our opponent. Kind of missed our big window there. Not that we have a window, but Krenko's not going to be as fun for them. Gross! God, Goblins is just... Just real dumb. It's just real dumb. Okay. 
take seven damage. So you can see why Rampaging Frostodon is good in this deck, and if we played it a turn earlier, we might not have just got completely wrecked. Um, so I guess we definitely didn't want to be on the draw in that game. So uh, let's go to game two. All right, guys, so here we are with game number two, and we've actually got some dinosaurs. So um, I'm thinking I'm going to keep this. We've got a turn two Marauding Raptor into a turn three Ripjaw Raptor. Draw a card. And... Yeah, we're on the play. I think this is probably like the, the dream draw kind of. I mean, maybe one less land and, or no, one more land and one dinosaur. Maybe we don't need the Galta yet, but if we can get the Galta out real early, that's going to be pretty awesome. All right, so we got a Marauding Raptor out. Um, they're playing Lazav. So if we get some land here, we could potentially Marauding Raptor into Ripjaw Raptor, draw two cards. Is this Kethys? I thought Kethys was... Was Kethys banned? I didn't even know it was banned. All right, so we did not draw a land. That sucks. Well, we'll play a second Marauding Raptor. And we will attack with our other Marauding Raptor. Um, I wonder if Mox Amber is just kind of a ramp spell here. I really need to check the ban list. I, I thought Kethys was kind of... Or was that in Pioneer? That might have been Pioneer. Nope. Okay. So, Kethys, still the combo deck to beat, I guess, in Historic. This is... This is going to be pretty good. So, let's see. I can play a Redosaur Alpha, but it would die. So, we're going to play Ripjaw Raptor. Draw two cards. Get in for a lot of damage. Uh, let's commune. We need to hit a land drop here. Go stomping ground. And we'll attack for eight. So we're in a very good spot as far as turn three. Um, we can play Galta now for two mana. We can play another Ripjaw Matt Raptor. We could potentially go Ripjaw Raptor into Galta. Do all kinds of silly stuff. All right. That's cool. You got a Neuro. I'm not afraid. They can go Emery here. Okay. So I think we might be in a very good spot, potentially. Um, okay. So let's go Rootbound Crag. We'll go Galta. Ram through in Galta. This is why this card is in this deck. So let's just do one of these little little spicy things right here. Yeah, that's a whoo. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage, my friend. And that is how you beat Kethis real quick. Mmm. Ram through Galta. Kaboom. I have never done that yet. That that's why it's in the deck, and I wanted to do it, but but I haven't, and we did. So let's go to game three. What's up, everybody? Here we go, game three. We are on the draw, and this is a very slow start. Um, yeah, I think we got a mulligan that we have no early action. This is much better. Um, I'm going to keep this, and I'm actually going to bottom the Ember Cleave because we're not going to be attacking with enough creatures until kind of later on. And ooh, all right. Definitely playing Ferocidon on turn two. Keeping them from gaining life. It's gonna be it's gonna be a beautiful thing. That's what it's gonna be. Hopefully it doesn't get a uh oh, conclave to the face or whatever removal they may be playing. Banishing light, probably better than conclave, but you know what? Kept them off uh, playing Heliod, so probably not the worst thing. That's fine. Attack for three. I will... Hmm. Do I want to play Marauding Raptor? Do I want to play... I think I want to play my Shifting Ceratops now because it's going to make Galta way cheaper. And next turn, I can probably go Marauding Raptor into Galta. Okay. 
Heliod is scary in this deck. Kind of the main threat, but we can start piling on a lot of damage very quickly if we can get our Galta out. All right, so let's start. We'll go Marauding Raptor. And we will go Stomp the Ground, pay some life, Galta. Not going to attack right now just because they can block with Heliod. And 5-5 five, five Indestructible beats a 5-4 not Indestructible. So Johnny can't wipe my board yet. I'm going to attack for a lot of damage next turn with a lot of creatures. So best thing we can do right now, honestly, get a ram through again. Do a lot of work. Ripjaw Raptor's nice. Um, so let's see. We can play this. No, no. I think I want to play the Ripjaw Raptor, though, just try to draw into an answer. Draw my card. Another Shifting Ceratops. Um, I'm just going to wipe out a Johnny here because that card is scary. If they gain too many life, they can just exile everything. Um, and I guess that's all we can do for now. Embercleave would be an amazing draw. We might be able to just do enough damage in one swoop. Although they do have... Hmm, they can give stuff lifelink. Yeah. I think you have two creatures lifelink, but they're not going to, so that's awesome for us. Got us at ease again. No, we don't. Okay, so. Redisaur Alpha. We can. Let's see. I want to kill Daxos because that'll turn off Heliod being a creature that can block. Um, I'm trying to think. I would love to do it on Ripjaw Raptor, but he's not big enough. I mean, might as well just make my biggest trampler the one that's even bigger. Doesn't look like they have anything they can do. They can't even create... What is this? Create angels? Yeah, can't do that. Can gain two life. That's cute. And Heliod is no longer a creature. They can't even kill it. Or they could kill their entire team. But um, just get silly here. Attack with everybody. Their Johnny's Pride mates can eat stuff, and they will grow. I'm going to draw something off the Ripjaw Raptor, which they're definitely going to consume. Okay, so they're going to trade. That's nice. Ooh, they're going to trade for both. Probably not what I would have done, but, you know. They didn't draw cards. All right, so we're in an awesome spot here. Um, yeah. Probably probably could have blocked a little smarter with the Johnny's Pride Mates. But yeah, I mean, that's three different games. We are down to goblins, so, you know, what are you going to do? That deck is busted. But uh, beat Kethis very swiftly, and we just overwhelmed life gain, so let's keep going. Let's see how we do. All right, so here we are with game four, I believe. Um, we go first, and we have a commune in our hand, so I'm actually going to keep this. Hopefully we can commune into something good, like a Ripjaw Raptor. Not a Ripjaw Raptor. We have one of those. A, uh, what's the other Raptor? Marauding Raptor? That's the one. Commune. All right, so let's see what we got here. 
Um, I think we actually just want the rootbound crag, I guess. Get the second green source. Not ideal, kind of a slow start. Um, up against Simic. So something annoying, that's for sure. Uh, once again, very slow start here. Uh, yeah. You definitely want that early acceleration in this game. So it looks like we're going to go right into a growth spiral. Perfect, another land. This is a very... This is like a draft game. It's a nice game of Ixalan Limited here. It would be a freaking sweet Ixalan deck, though. Freaking three... Three dinos and a dino removal spell. Yeah, they can get a lot of land. This is a Field of the Dead deck, I guess. All right. Well, hey, look at that. I'm just going to take my time, I guess. You know, just play nice and slow. Who needs to do anything on turns one, two, or three? Not me. Sure, my opponent has seven plus lands. But Golos, get that Field of the Dead, I'm sure got five colors can start doing real dumb stuff we can savage stomp it though all right so let us start by stomping golos savagely drawing a card it's a pretty good card um so this would make galta cost three um, do I want another Ripjaw out, or do I want to make them lose life every time a zombie comes in? I think I want that. So we'll get in with the Ripjaw Raptor. So early on in Historic, or even kind of in Field of the Dead's heyday and Standard, the way people fought it was by trampling over stuff with Embercleave. Uh, so a bunch of dinosaurs and Embercleave and just all kinds of incidental trample seems like a very good thing for us. Also, a Rampaging Ferocidon's just doing work here. Not a lot of work, but he's doing work, you know. It's fine. Gain me life. And by gain me life, I mean lose you life. I will gladly take you losing life. Yeah, that's fine. Lose a couple more life. Get a couple of zombies. I don't care. Man, Rampaging Frostdown is good. I don't think he deserved the, deserved the ban back in the day, but... Oh, I can give him haste. All right, so we'll go... Let's go play two red mana here. I don't know what my auto-tapper's thinking. Um... We will play Galta. We will... Oh, I can't give it haste because I just played it. Um, Yeah, I'm just going to attack here. If they block, I can just kind of wipe them out with uh, Collision Colossus here. They're thinking. They're thinking. That's fine. Still dies, but their whole board's gone. I've got a Galta. And I draw a card. Feels good. Feels so good. This is a deck that you don't have to worry about, like, sweepers or anything like that either. I don't really know how they answer a Galta. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... I don't think Ugin has the power that they need here. Surprisingly. Yeah. Gotta love that they would need to do minus 12 to kill Galta. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's uh, just, just attack here. It's fine, you can double block. And that's Field of the Dead. So, Goblins, we got wrecked. Kethys, we wrecked. Life Gain, we wrecked. Uh, Field of the Dead, we wrecked. That was, like, 
the worst game for me. I did nothing for four turns. Uh, let's play one more game. Maybe we can get our redemption against goblins. If not, I think this is a pretty, it's a pretty hot streak we got here. All right, here we are with our fifth game, and I'm going to keep this. We've got our turn two acceleration. We've got an ember cleave. We've got a four drop payoff. So we're going to keep this. Uh, be kind of cool to draw into like a third lands, an elf, or a thunder herd. Is it thunder migration? Commune of the dinosaurs. I you think I'd remember the cards that are in the deck that I'm playing, but I do not. I do not at all. And it's really hot in here. It's been a hot couple weeks, and I do not have air conditioning in my my small little basement office. So I'm sweating my balls off. Slap this guy down tap just because you know. I'll be like, yeah, we're playing gruel. I'm not afraid. So probably going to lead on Huntmaster. This would have been cool last turn. Uh, this way I can play this for one, and then I think I can also play Ceratops right after if nothing dies. Okay, so can't do that. That's a bummer. But I can go marauding a raptor into commune with dinosaurs um i would love one of these lands but rip jar raptor is just too tempting worst case he dies i can still play the ferocidon it's a big boy that's a big boy all right so let's go can't play Huntmaster; it would just die so let's play rip jar raptor draw a card that would have been a lot better as a land and not going to attack into this nightmare. This horror. I'm sorry. It's not a nightmare. All right. Sacrifice him. Take two. Draw land, please. Please. Sweet. Um, play this guy tapped. No attacks. I will discard Otepec Huntmaster just because it would die if I played it. Perexian Arena, that's cool. So we'd get real beat up by Gary. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I can play a lot of spells, I think. Play this into Galta? My Marauding Raptor would get big I don't want to attack into it god it's such a good blocker people always attack with Phyrexian Obliterator but it's so much better as a blocker yeah so next turn if all else aww could have been a good cleave turn it's still gonna be a good cleave turn they're at 16 life um i can attack with everything including ceratops and oof uh, that hurts man yeah eldest reborn it's a card i forgot man this model black deck's pretty spicy uh, totally geared to destroy goblins, and surprisingly good against my deck as well. I guess just get rid of Ceratops? Ugh. No blocks. Man, Galt is a really good get for my opponent. That is... Alright. Good game opponent, I think? I don't have enough mana to double spell here. But I can draw a card. <laughs> and a mountain. Awesome. Good game, mono black opponents. That is a very good anti-goblin deck. And turns out it's a good anti-dinosaur deck as well. Uh, so that was five games. We won three out of five. And you can kind of see the explosive power of this deck, much like the Jun Dino deck of the of the standards past. 
Uh, Man is very consistent. It feels good. Why did I click on packs? That's not what I wanted to click on. Click on the dinos. So yeah, um, I think I'm going to actually try Jun dinos again as well, especially in a best of three format, just because I'll have so many options for the sideboard. And I just miss playing a rotting retosaur and just going ham on people. Uh, yeah, so Gruel Dinosaurs, a very consistent, aggressive deck for Historic. Um, if you've been playing Arena for a while, you probably have a lot of these cards. It is just kind of a pile of rares, so if you haven't, it is a lot of wild cards to waste, but I luckily did all of this back in the day for Jun Dinos, and I'm glad it's kind of paying for itself again because it's it's been doing good work for me um if you guys have been playing dinosaurs if you're playing any cool historic or standard or pioneer any new decks that are viable now that the world has been changed let us know and we'll check them out um but again thank you guys for watching and see you later